for today's lesson, we have using the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Before we begin to our lesson, these are the two important words that you should remember. Divisibility rules. These are set of general rules that are often used to determine whether or not a number is evenly divisible by another number. Next one is divisible. It means it can be divided without a remainder. And to begin our lesson, let us first discuss about the divisibility rules for 2. These are the things that we should remember. All even numbers are divisible by 2. Even numbers that end in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. For examples, we have 50, 202, 1064, 326, and 68. Since these numbers are ends into even number like 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, that's why we can say that these numbers are divisible by 2. And for the divisibility rules for 5, this is the thing that we should remember. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit of a number is 0 and 5. Examples, we have 100, 5065, 245, 30, and 705. Since these numbers are n in 0 and 5, we can say that these numbers are divisible by 5. And for the divisibility rules for 10, this is the important thing that we should remember. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Examples We have 100, 70, 90, and 4000. It doesn't matter if it is a small or a big number as long as it is end in 0, we can say that these numbers are divisible by 10. And for the second part of our lesson, let us apply the use of the divisibility rules of 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. For the continuation of our lesson, let us first identify if what is a factor. It is any of the numbers used in multiplication to form a product. These are the numbers that we multiply to get an answer or a product. Example, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 24 is the what we call product. 4 and 6 is the what we call factor. Therefore, 4 and 6 are the factors of 24. We also have common factor, a factor that two or more numbers have in common or these are the same factors of a two or more than two numbers let us have some examples for you to understand if what is a common factor let us find out the common factors of 30 and 50 using the divisibility rules for 2 5 and 10 the first thing that we should do is to find out the factors of 
30. We can apply the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 because 30 is an even number and it ends in 0. So the first three factors of 30 are 2, 5, and 10. Aside from this number, we can also use 1 as a factor of any given number because it is a general rule that 1 is always a factor of an any given number. After that, we are going to find out the second factors that we, that we can use so that we can get 30. So for 2, we have 15 because 2 times 15, it will give us 30. And 5 times 6 is also equivalent to 30. 10 times 3 is also equivalent to 30. And for 1, we have 30 because 1 times 30 is also equivalent to 30. So these are the factors of 30. All we have to do is to write down the factors of 30 by writing down the smallest number to the greatest number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So these numbers are the factors of 30. Second thing that we, to do, that we are going to do is to find out if what are the factors of 50. Since 50 is also an even number, we can also apply the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. So where the three first factors of, third, of 50 are 2, 5, and 10. We can also use 1 as a factor of 50. Again, it is a general rule that we can always use 1 as a factor of an any given number. So for 2, we have 25. 5 times 10 and 1 times 50, it will give us the same product of 50. Again, we are going to write down the factors of 50 by writing down the smallest number to the greatest number. So we have 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. So these numbers are the factors of 50. The third thing that we're going to do in finding the common factors of 30 and 50 is to look at the factors of 30 and 50. So we're going to use the same number that we can find out in the factors of 30 and 50. So we have 1, 2, 5, 10 as the common factors of 30 and 50. So the common factors of 30 and 50 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So again, you are going to write them from the smallest number to the greatest number. So these are the common factors of 30 and 50, which are 1, 2, 5, and 10. For our second example, we are going to find out the common factors of 12 and 20. All we have to do now is to find the factors of 12. So for 12, we are going to use 1 because we all know that 1 is always a factor of any given number. And also, we are going to apply the divisibility rules for 2 because 12 is an even number and it ends in 2. Also, we are going to use 3 because when we divide 12 into 3, we are going to get an exact answer. After that, think of the numbers that when we multiply into 1, 2, and 3, we are going to get the product of 12. For 1, we have 12. For 2, we have 6. And for 3, we have 4. 
because when we multiply 1 times 12 is equal to 12 and 2 times 6 it is also equivalent to 12 and also for 3 times 4 it will also give us the product of 12 so these are the factors of 12 all we have to do now is to write down these factors from smallest to the greatest number so we have 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 as the factors of 12 after that we are going to find out the factors of 20 for 20 we are going to use again 1 as a general rule again it is a common factor of any given number so we are going to apply also the divisibility rules for 2 because 20 is an even number and it ends in 0 also we have 4 because when we divide 4 into 20 or when we divide 20 into 4 we are going to get an exact answer again we are going to think for the numbers that we are going to multiply into 1 2 and 4 so that we can get the product of 20 for 1 we have 20 for 2 we have 10 again it is a rule for divisibility rules for 10 because 20 is an even number and it ends in 0 for 4 we have 5 because when we multiply 1 times 20 it will give us 20 and for 2 times 10 it will also give us 20 for 4 times 5 it will also give us the product of 20 so these are the numbers or the factors of 20 again we are going to write down the factors of 20 from smallest to the greatest number so we have 1 2 4 5 and 10 and we also have 20 as the factors of 20 since we have the factors of 12 and we have the factors of 20 let us now identify if what are the common factors for 12 and 20 all we have to do is to look the factors of 12 and the factors of 20 let us see if what are the numbers that they have in common so we have 1 2 4 as the factors or the common factors of 12 and 20 so we have 1 2 and 4 as the common factors of 12 and 20. 